guys, Cyber here from FTFO, and in today's video, I'll show you how to install Salome CFD. So, if you don't know what Salome CFD is, well, it's a specific version of the pre post processor Salome, uh, which is an open source pre post processor, and uh, you have added to that the CFD study module that uh, will allow you to run code Saturn from within Salome. So, I used to make a lot of uh, videos about uh, about Salome CFD in the past, uh, but I realized that the way to install it has changed, and uh, right now there is no uh, one installer that you can just click and run and, and get it. So it's uh, the installation procedure is now become very complicated. So that's why I decided to make this video. I had a lot of requests through the comments on YouTube. Uh, asking me, can you show us how to install this Salome CFD extension? So this is what I will do in this video. And the first thing I will do is to install Code Saturn, which you need to be able to run the, the studies. Then you need to install Salome itself. And then you need to install the Salome CFD extension. So that's why it's a pretty long process. So let's start by going to the download page and have a look at uh, what are the options to download Code Saturn. So you can see that first, you can download it as a tarball. So it's a basically an archive that contains the source code of Code Saturn. Um, so I was using this way before to install it, but I find out that uh, you can also install it using GitHub. Uh, and this is actually, this will give you access to the latest master code um, of Code Saturn. Also, you can have access to several versions of the, the code. So I'll show you how you can get the V7 version uh, right after when I downloaded this code. So let's uh, go and get, let's uh, copy this link. Okay, so now that I've copied this link, let's open a new terminal prompt. Let's cd in a folder that I already created called Saturn SRC. So if you don't have this folder, you can create with mkdir and the name of the folder, or you can call it whatever you want. Uh, and then let's git clone um, and paste the repository, the link of the repository in it. Now I just have to, so you need to have git install. If you don't have it, you'll need to install with apt-get. So that's pretty easy, but I, I guess you have git already. So uh, click on enter, and now you just need to wait uh, for um, the, the project to be cloned into the repository. Okay, so once this is downloaded, we have to cd into the code Saturn folder that has been downloaded. And there are two things we need to do. First is to check out the version of the code we'll be using. So if you go back on GitHub, you'll see here that you have a um, lot of versions of code Saturn. So you can either Default will be the master branch, so that's the one which is continually being developed. Uh, but you know, staying on the master branch just um, it, it has some risks because if the developers are adding some small changes and you know, or there, there is a, currently a bug or something on, on it, um, then you will download this and you know, you won't know what is uh, wrong. So, I'm not saying the master branch has a bug, it probably doesn't right now, but it's uh, better to check out. A specific version you will be uh, using and also if you want to you know use an older version or something like this it's better to, to choose so I will be using the v7 because it's the same than the one you will uh, download if you download a tar file uh, and that way um, you know you, the procedure for installation with git or with the tar file will be the same so how do you check out this um, well you use git again git checkout and you just give it the the name of the branch so v7.0 now if you, you do that it tells that this switch to the new branch you can ch check at any time using git status on which branch you are on and this tells you that you're on origin v7 so um, that's fine and once you do that there is an important step which is actually not mentioned anywhere. Um, if you download the code from Git, you will need to do this 
in order to um, to be able to use uh, this and compile this code and this uh, there is a script which is located in sbin uh, which is bootstrap and you'll need to launch this script in order to generate some files which are required for the installation so you need to uh, do sbin and uh, bootstrap and that's kind of the line that I was missing um, because it's not explained in the in the readme or any, anywhere that you have to do this so uh, before I, I knew how to do this I was never able to install it using the git repository code and this is because I was missing that so uh, yeah don't forget to do this Let's come back on the main code and you have some installation. So installation can be done through install saturn.py script. So that's what, that's what we'll be doing. In the meantime, make sure you have the prerequisite for code saturn. So this is go back on the website and you have a page code saturn prerequisites. So you have to check that those software that you see here are already installed and the most is important is um, PyQt5 you you need to have this and uh, CGNS and MED uh, HDF5 so all of this um, can be installed automatically by the install script so I'll show you how to do this but you need to have PyQt5 um, so to install PyQt if you don't have it uh, do an apt get install and uh, I think the command is python 3 dash pyqt5 something like that so maybe there there are some um, magis there are some capital letters here like this and uh, so if you install that you should have it now of course you, you need to have python 3 installed so I have um, if you type Python 3.8, for example, which is the version I have, you see that uh, Python prompts uh, appears. So I have Python installed. I have PyQt5 installed. Now, a, a small note is that if you have Python, there is another way to install PyQt5, which is using pip. So probably pip or pip3 install uh, PyQt5 don't do this don't use this command if you have installed it using this um, uninstall it just uninstall it and there's a reason for this is because if you have that plus you install it also using the apt get um, the two versions of pyqt on your computer will enter in conflict and then you'll have some error message when you launch salome so i searched for what the reason was for a very very long time before i actually find uh, you shouldn't install it using pip so this is uh, this is important information okay for the other prerequisites we'll see how to install this using the installation script so now that uh, code saturn is um, configured and i did the bootstrap let's let's have a look so this is uh, my folder so if i go into this folder so I, i'm already in it actually uh, let's Let's try to use Python. So Python, uh, I think, let's see, Python 3. So if I type just Python, yeah, it's open Python 2. So that's not the one I want. So Python 3.8. And uh, I want to launch this install saturn.py. And now uh, read well what is written here because it tells you that uh, it can cannot be run from within this folder. So what is recommended is that you go out of this folder and you create a folder called Saturn build, uh, and then you see the Intuit and you launch the script from that folder. So that's what, um, so actually it, it gives you the, the the lines of code you have to to do this to to create this so i, I can add directly copy that mkdir okay so you see it executed it created the build folder um well 
I, I don't really have to copy that to cd into it, but um, here. And now we can launch this. So I can using the absolute path, or I can use double dot to go out of the folder, code Saturn, and install dot py. Okay. And after it launched this, it tells you the process will take several minutes, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you have a setup file that appears into the build folder. So that's important. So let's uh, open this file. And this file will, will basically ask you some of the configuration option you want. So setup files for uh, installation download packages download so if you don't have the packages it will install them and download them for you so it recognizes that i have a c compiler and a mpi option so it's fine it's written here um, i have the fortran compiler as well i have the c plus plus compiler I have Python 3, so this is the, the link of my Python. Um, so it will not disable the GUI. Now, um, optional Salome platform install pass. So if you want to install it with Salome, so which we'll, we'll do uh, after that, you'll have to um, you'll have to change this option here. So, but yes, and then you'll need to have those optional packages med. HDF5, um, CGNS Scotch, and to get those, um, what you need to do to go down to this line and replace basically all the nodes by yes here. So use install yes. So you don't need to put the pass because it will download it automatically. If you already download it and you want to tell it, okay, install don't install this, you can paste the pass to this. But I highly not recommend to do this because uh, there are many versions of FDH5 and uh, you basically you never know which version will be the correct one. So you will um, you will have a lot of troubles doing this. So use auto med. Yes. Yes. Scotch. Let's install Scotch in the Parmetis also. OK. So once you have all that, save this file. And now we could go back to this and just rerun this installation script. And uh, now let's see what it says. Um, Salome directory is uh, provided in the setup, but is not present. Uh, OK. OK, so maybe I uh, won't need to I know I don't need to to put the yes here. I'll put no for the moment. So Okay, and now it starts to download. So you see it will download HDF and all the package it needs and then um, it will install them. So this will take quite some time. So you know, be patient and uh, We'll come back when everything is uh, downloaded and installed. Okay, so once this is finished, you should see um, the following message. Thank you for choosing Code Saturn. And, you know, basically there should be no error. So if you have an error on the installation of one of those uh, modules, go back, look at the, you know, the specific module that was downloaded and installed and try to solve, you know, what kind of error this might be. Um, and I had some errors before when I was trying to install a specific version of HDF or stuff like this. Uh, but, you know, I don't recommend you to do this. Just use the download option to download automatically the, the version which is required. OK, so once you have that, uh, you should be able to use Code Saturn. But before you actually do this, I recommend you to take those two lines, copy them and paste them into your bash RC file. So you can open your bash RC with um, any text editor. So I'm using Emacs, but you know, you can use anything and it should be um, bash RC like that. Okay. 
go down and so yeah those are the two lines so i have a previous code saturn installation so i i'm using the previous one so let's just remove those two lines and uh, instead put this one okay save and now you should be able to launch code saturn just like this saturn oh you you may have to reload right bash rc so you have to open a new prompt so in a new prompt if you type code saturn and uh, so if i just type code saturn like that you'll see i i will get the kind of option i can use so i have the help the study manager and everything and if i type code saturn gui you should see the gui of code saturn opening right now and uh, it should be ready to to launch a simulation so now that code saturn is installed we'll have to install salome so if you want you can install salome first and code saturn after there, there's no uh, order so let's click on salome cfd and here you have um so you need to install the salome platform the general uh, platform and then use the salome cfd extension to add cfd study module to the platform so that's kind of what is uh, complicated here so let's go to the salome platform website and i think salome has also changed the way to install salome since last time i uh, looked at it so it's uh it was it used to be pretty easy but right now it's uh, more difficult as well um so here you have the latest salome 9.8 so let's go on. So let's download it on the version of uh, Ubuntu you're using. So I'm using uh, Ubuntu 20. And just let's wait that this folder uh, gets downloaded. So after you uh, download it, you have to unzip it. So uh, use the tar xvf command. So basically, you know, tar dash xvf and the name of uh, the full name of the the archive and then it will automatically unzip it so i've already done it so i'm not doing it again um, and what you have to do is first let's look at the readme and what the readme tells you is that you have binaries which has or which are already compiled in it um, and those binaries they um, they contain uh, what, what is needed to launch the application now there's something this script is not this readme is not telling you is that you have to launch the install bin sh script to actually generate the install folder which is not uh, available by default so um, and first when you do that you have to check your system that you have all what is required to to launch salome so because there are a lot of prerequisites for salome and this is kind of the, the boring part of the installation. So you see you have this SAT script. So what you have to do is um, take this, copy, put a dot, and then paste that and launch this. And then it will automatically check for uh, the dependencies uh, which are installed on your computer. So in my case, I already installed it. So I have gone through this list. Uh, you see some of them are still not installed, but that's because I couldn't find those packages and uh, they weren't really useful or needed to launch Salome. So some of those packages are maybe not used for every Salome module. So you don't need to have everything installed, but some of them are um, required. So just wait that this completes and uh, when this completes i'll show you what you, you need to do okay so uh here it's still it tells me that i need to install those model actually i don't really need them but 
you know, most I have most of the package installed. In your case, you probably have many uh, no or KO. KO in red means that you don't have it. So what you, you need to do is um, open Synaptic. So if you don't have Synaptic apt-get or sudo apt-get install Synaptic. Okay, if you don't have it. If you have it, just open it with sudo. So Synaptic is a very, very useful package manager and it's a visual. So you get this interface and this will allow you to search for all the stuff that um, you know you don't have. So for example, let's say it tells you you don't have um, you don't have I don't know uh, graph viz install. So you just copy that here, you paste it here, and you search for it, and you see you have a module here. So I already have it. So it's it displays in green. It means that I have it. If you don't have it, just check mark for installation and then click on apply and this will automatically install it on your computer. So do that for all the modules that you don't have. Um, and, and when this is, this seems like a bit like me that almost everything is here, uh, you're ready to install Salme. So now you just launch the install.bin.sh script. So like this. And basically what it's doing is that it's copying the binaries from this folder into an install folder. Uh, so wait that this completes. Okay, so now that the files are all copied, let's have a look in the in the install folder, you'll see that you have all, um, basically the version of the binaries that were here have been copied into install. And now we should be able to run Salme by dash um, dot dash Salme like this. Salme should be launching. Okay, well, that's great. And now that Salme is installed, we're ready for the third step was to install the Salme CMD uh, module. Uh, now, one note, I don't know why every time I, I leave Salme right now, I'm getting this double free or corruption. Um, I don't know. It still works fine. It's just that when I leave it, it just gives me that. But that I don't think this is a big problem. So if we go back on the Salome CFD website, on the Salome CFD tab, you see that you need to have this Salome CFD extension module. So if we click on that, this will lead you to another Git repository. So it's not the same than um, the previous one. And um, so I have to Git clone this repository again. So let's do this. Let's do, let's open a new prompt. Let's go in my Salome folder and let's do a Git clone and uh, take this code here. to clone that into the folder. Okay, so that was pretty fast. So let's cd into this Salome CFD extension. Um, and now if, um, so there are several things to do. So the first one is to check out the right version. So as we have installed Salome 7 version, you see that there is a branch V7. So that's, uh, we have to check out and use this code. If you're using the master branch, then you can uh, just use the master code. That's fine. But I'm using the seven version, so I'll do a git checkout v7.0. Okay, it's switched to the new branch. And here again, we have also to do the sbin bootstrap. sbin bootstrap to uh, prepare the repository and generate the files which are, are not by default in this repository. Okay, so now this is done. Now what we have to do is to create, um, uh, is to basically to go into the Salome environment. So let's go. So what we, we can do is to cd back cd into Salome folder 
and uh, you see that I have the Salome executable here. And what I can do is Salome, and if you add shell like this, you see that the prompt changes. And this means that it actually loaded the Salome environment uh, into my folder. So now I have to go back into my previous folder, Salome CFD extensions. And there's something more to do, um, which is, so Salome CFD extension. Let's have a look at the readme, or let's have a look at the configure. So we'll have to, to launch the configure, but there are some options for this configure that have to be set up. So if you go down, so it's a bit um, difficult to find where are those extension defined. So let's let's do a search with Salome, and you you see that um, there is a there is a with Salome tag that has to be uh, given to 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 this executable. And at the same time, you need to have also some um, environment variables to tell where the CFD study will be installed. Um, so what, what I've done, so let me check quickly. So here I put some of those instruction um, into a text file because uh, it's easier. Um, now, even if I'm logged in the Salome environment, I need to define some environment variables that are required for the configure. And uh, I don't think they are automatically given all the time. So that's why um, I've done that. So uh, I have done first, let's, um, let's create a Salome root deer uh, environment variable. And this variable will contain the path to my Salome, um, Salome folder. So you can check that this variable has been created using echo dollar and then the name of the variable, Salome root uh, deer. And you see that it contains the right path, so that's fine. Now I need to create two more variables. So one will contain the path to my code Saturn install. So export copy paste and I think I change um, in my case I changed the install so it's um, let me check home code Saturn so I had before 7.02 and I had 7.04 and basically the pass to this should be our Linux bin. So you see you have the executable here. So that's, let's take this pass, control A to select everything, copy. Let's paste that here. Okay, so I have defined the CS root deer. Now I need to define CFD module root deer. And um, this is the pass to, okay, Salome, so I have my Salome CFD extension and you see you have CFD study here. So I don't actually think this, this variable is needed. Maybe it's not needed, but by just security, I'm just um, defining it. Okay, so now that I have those three environment variable, I'm ready to, uh, to launch the configure script. So for that, I'm using this configure paste configure dash dash with salome salome root deer so let's launch this and now if you have some errors you have to be careful and look at what is written here because it will tell you if uh, you have some problems so now you should see this salome kernel support yes salome gui support yes so that means that uh, it's fine i'm not in debugging mode so this is no so this should be fine now, now you should just do make and sudo make install. And I'm telling you in the advanced, I will have an error and I will show you how to solve it. So make a 
Okay, so it works and to, uh, here, sudo make install. Okay. So it actually seems like it worked but I'm not really sure if it did. So, um, yeah, that's weird. The, um, it actually worked right out of the bat. So that's fine. Um, let's try now to, to launch it. So, and I will talk a bit later about the error I was getting before in case you are uh, getting the same error. So, um, Let's go. So once you do sudo install, you can launch Salome. So if you, you the uh, one of the error I was doing before is that I was thinking that you have to launch the binary, which is here, Salome CFD in order to launch Salome CFD. But actually, it's not this one. Um, if you look carefully at what has been written here, you see that it has been installed at uh, this pass, US, USR local bin. So this is the actual pass of my install. Um, so let's copy this and I have to exit. I have to exit the Salome uh, environment. Now let's paste this and use Salome CFD. And now this should be launching Salome CFD and uh, you have the you see you have now the cfd study module here but not that fast if you click here i'm oh it actually works well wow. <laughs> uh well i'm quite surprised because the first time uh i did this it didn't work so maybe um oh i know it's because i already have the okay i have the the correct uh, variable in my uh, bash rc file so let's yeah, 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 that's why. Let's, uh, <laughs> I, I'm cheating basically. So, and that's, you know, that's why sometimes the developers don't realize they are such problems because they already have their environment set up and they, they will tell you, yeah, it works. Why, why it doesn't work for you? And uh, you realize that actually, yeah, there are some things. So yeah, I, I let's remove this. Those two lines here is, what actually make it works and um, so i want to show you what you should be getting if you don't have that so now let's launch that again okay and now if i click here it works also wow <laughs> okay cool well um how to say that I must be very good to install that the second time because the first time I tried to install it, I had a lot of problems uh, and now it works um, right away. So uh, let me tell you a few things that uh, in case you're getting those errors. So um, let me let me take. So now it works. So, you know, you, you're supposed to be able to, to use uh, Salome CFD normally, but uh, I was getting some errors before and uh, I want to tell you about this. So the first error I was getting is that I had a weird error message telling me about libqt5 core.so.5 version qt not found. So this error, I already told you about it uh, at the beginning. If you get this, just uninstall pyqt5, uh, the pip version of pyqt5 and install it with apt-get instead. So that's what... Um, is causing this problem. Now, uh, the second thing, if um, if you are getting this error, so the second error I was getting is that I had this Omni DLL error, could not open ideal compiler module Omni module. So, and uh, I didn't know what I had this error, but basically it was telling me that it couldn't find this module into my uh, Salome install 
folder. So if we go into my Salme, install Omni, where is it? Omni ORB library. Yeah, it, it actually it's still not here. So I know why why it, it's working right now, but it wasn't working because I, I didn't have this this file in, in this directory here. And what I did is that I went back to my um, archives and you have you have this Omni ORB. So you have a tar file, so you have to untar this one. And uh, you have basically to to create a build folder and then configure make install and this will generate um, well let, let's actually do it for you because it's it's uh, not very complicated how can I open this um, Omni ORB let's open and terminal so so in case you're ge getting this L omni or b error so what you have to do is to um, let, let's remove this build folder for now let's move to trash this so you have to mkdir build folder then cd into the build folder then you have to do a dash dash uh, slash configure like this then you do a make maybe it installed it in my um, in my computer somewhere else so that's why I'm uh, I cannot, you know, my install can can find it right now. But in case you're getting this error, you just have to do what I'm doing right now. You cd into the build, you make, and uh, then make install. And if you're wondering, this Omni ORB uh, is um, it's a kind of program that is uh, making. It's using CORBA, which is a norm of communication between programs, and uh, that's what is making the communication between the different modules of Salme. So it's an absolutely necessary program to to have the communication between uh, uh, Code Saturn, the CFD study module, and uh, Salome. Um, so if your computer cannot find it, you just have to uh, install it manually like I'm uh, doing right now. Okay, and and then you do a sudo make install. Okay, and then it should be working. So, uh, and then if you go in the build directory, bin, um, I was the lib one. Yeah, so. In this case, you are finding so those are the three modules that were missing from um, uh, from the previous error message. So they are here, and I believe those those files should have been provided in the initial Salome install, but they are not. Uh, so you, what you can do is just copy them, go into the install folder, find the Omni ORB and uh, lib, and you just paste them here and uh, and then it should work right this should solve the omni or b error now I met an other error I was getting is that um, um, basically if your Salome doesn't know where you have installed code Saturn um, when you when you actually open you click on the module in the Salome it will give you an error and say okay um, I can f I cannot find the the, the right uh, module so you'll get an error like this like this one um, and it will tell you there is no module uh, called code saturn.gy or something like this so uh, if you are getting this error it means that um, your Salome cannot find where your um, 
your uh, code Saturn is installed. So what you have to do in this case, uh, if you're getting this, is to uh, basically find where your code Saturn is installed. So in my case, it's um, it's here. Uh, code Saturn, and you have a lib Python three side packages code Saturn, and this is the Python module that uh, you know the Salome install requires. So just go in properties, copy this pass here, and um, open a new prompt and create create a Python pass variable equal that will be equal to this pass basically. And if you do that, your Python installation will be able to find this code certain module. Um, now, uh, another error I was getting also is that um, if you're using two different versions, so in, in this video, I showed you how to do the git checkout to get the same seven version of um, code Saturn and of the Salome CFD module. So you have, it should be working, but in case you didn't do that, you might have an error like this saying that you're not have the, you don't have the right module. And uh, that's because you have to compile with the, the right version. If you're using code Saturn master, you have to open, you have to use Salome CFD extension master as well. Um, and once you have op you have this Python pass, you should be able to, um, well, it worked already on my computer here, local bin Salome uh, CFD. And uh, now you should be able to have, like me, um, the Salome CFD module, CFD study module into your Salome. So, so this is the Salome CFD module. Um, and so you can just, you know, create a new CFD case and, and work with code Saturn within Salome um, instead of working without. Now, if despite all the information I give you in this video, you're still not able to get this, um, don't worry. What you can do is work separately with code Saturn and with uh, Salome. That works as well if you cannot get the module into it. Um, you can simply, you know, generate your, your med file, export it, uh, then you open, you know, code certain in the prompt with code certain GUI, and then you, you will uh, be able to work in this way. It's a bit annoying because you have to go back and forth between Salome and code certain and everything, but it, it should be working. Uh, and now the last thing I want to show you is again, um, open your bash RC. Sorry, there's a dot here. And we'll create an alias for this link. So you see, I have an alias already for code Saturn. So I'll create an alias for Salome CFD equal. And here I can put the, the pass to my Salome CFD install like that. And in case you you need to have this Python pass too, well, in this case, put it also here. Um, that way you won't have to, to reload the Python pass every time. So in my case, it seems like I don't need it. So that's fine. Uh, and if you do this, you save it. You can now load Salome CFD with this comment here. Right, and uh, there you have it. Right, so I hope it wasn't too difficult to follow. And um, you know, if you have problems, um, either leave some comment on the video, or I would advise you to go on the Salome forum community um, forum register an account here, and just uh, you know ask the problems the. Uh, the guys here are very, very nice. Um, so, you know, they will help you uh, for sure. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this was uh, useful. 
and uh, I'll see you in another video where I'll probably do some uh, tutorials and other stuff. And don't forget to give a like to the video because it uh, took me a lot of time to, to make this one. Thank you, thank you again. Thank you very much.